Hey everybody, I'm Teacher Nikki and today I want to talk to you guys about how to extend materials and make them more interesting for the student. You can have something that's very important for the student to learn, but then maybe it will be a little bit dry or to them it might seem boring. It doesn't mean that the information is actually boring, but it's just something that they're not able to connect to on a certain level. So for example, when you're teaching about food, it doesn't matter what textbook it comes from or what company you're teaching at. Just talking about food in general, if you're learning words such as apples and oranges, how do you make that interesting and fun for the student? So let's talk about that. So here you can see some basic dialogue. This is something that the student actually needs to learn in order to improve their English and sound like a native speaker. When we ask somebody if they want to eat some food, we say, would you like? When we ask for food, we say, I would like. And then we use please and we use thank you if we want to sound polite. But this is great. So now what? Well, here's some ideas. And just so you guys know, the pictures that I took did come from an iTutor group lesson. And this is from an Oxford University Press lesson. Just to give credit where credit is due. So first of all, I did a little bit of a guessing game. So I said to the student, what do you think I like the most? Or what kind of snacks do you think that I eat most often? And I was totally honest here, but I wrote a list. I said, do you think I eat sandwiches, potato chips, vegetables, or fruit the most for snacks? And he guessed something, and then I said, well, it's actually potato chips. I know, I know, not the healthiest, but hey, it's the truth. And then I did the same thing with drinks. What do you think that I drink the most? Water, soda, juice, coffee, or tea? And the student actually guessed juice, but the answer was water. So doing a little guessing game can make it really interesting. Now, I'm showing him some of the language to use. I didn't say, would you like, but we're still talking about the topic, and he's actually hearing additional language in terms of, like, guessing and what do you think, so we're still using full sentences to discuss food, which will be very beneficial for the student, and I had him produce language, so um, down here, you can actually see that the student wrote, and he was able to produce some language himself. So I said, okay, now it's my turn. And I said, I have to guess what you eat. So then he wrote that list of food and drinks. Then we extended it a little bit more. So this time we talked about different types of food and what would you like to eat. So I showed him some popular food, um, some tacos and I, I asked him if you came to America what would you like to eat would you like to have pizza spaghetti tacos or barbecue and he said are tacos Mexican food I said yes but we have a lot of that here and he said okay I would like tacos so then I showed him some pictures of tacos and I was able to show him a little a few extra details because you know, there's different types of tacos. You could have chicken, steak, ground beef, pork, fish. And then I showed him what comes on the tacos, cilantro and onion. I said, do you know what cilantro is? So that's why I put the pictures in there. So this was really useful in extending not only the conversation, but also his vocabulary, raising it up a level. And also keep in mind that you have to make sure that the students, um, can handle this. If they can't, then you have to do something else that will make sense for their English level. And then I said, what would you drink with your tacos? And there's a rice water drink called horchata. If you've ever been to a traditional Mexican restaurant, they often serve that. And I said, that's like a sweet drink. And then I gave him the other options, soda and water. I'm not sure why I put spicy. Oh, I think I put spicy to ask him if he would like, you know, spicy salsa with his tacos. And then I said, mild salsa, not too hot. So those are some of the things that we talked about. And then I believe we extended this even more. And he asked me what I would eat if I was in China. 
So as you can see, this can really take your lesson to a whole other level when you just add in a few little games and activities, doing those guessing games, relating it to their life, adding in some of that idea of adventure by thinking about traveling somewhere, visiting a place that you've never been before, can all make it very exciting and interesting for the student. So I hope that this little bit of information can just make your lessons come to life even more. And I hope that you have some really exciting lessons this week. If you have some tips that you'd like to share, I'd love to know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see videos in the future. Don't make sure make sure that you hit that notification bell as well if you're watching on YouTube. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.